Welcome. Today we have cross kick. Things are going to look a little bit different since the accident due to limited mobility, but we're still going to get into this cross kick. So let's get started. So let's break down the footwork first. Left foot is forward. We're in our bow stance from our thrust palm. The first thing we do is we shift our weight back, make sure that our knees are in line, and we're gonna turn on that left heel 135 degrees. So fold into your hip creases here, turn as far as you can with your torso so the feet are kind of pigeon-toed and you're going to the corner direction. Then relax your right foot as you shift your weight to the left leg. Then we're gonna stand up, toe pointing down, tuck that leg in, then draw the toes up, heel kick, bend the knee. Okay? It's similar to like that single whip footwork, so we wanna turn as far as we can to make sure we set up our foot to the corner direction so that we can kick to straight. Let's do it again. Left foot is forward. We're leaning into it. We keep that lean as we shift back. Turn, fold into those hips. Turn as far as you can. Relax the right foot on the ball as you shift back. Everything is now to the corner. We're gonna stand up, we're looking to straight. We've got that toe tucked in. And remember, your kick could be just kicking down and then coming up. The meaning could be kicking to someone's knee, okay? When we're kicking, one of the most important things is to keep our torso straight and don't lean back, okay? So keep everything vertical, even as you kick, we don't wanna lean back, okay? We wanna be very aware in, in our kicks that we're kicking and we're staying vertical and we're not going past the point of comfort, okay? Remember to breathe. If we're not breathing, it's gonna make our balance harder, right? So big inhale and stand up, exhale and kick. Let's do it again, just the footwork. Left leg forward, shift back, knees stay in line, turn 135 degrees, relax, shift to the left leg, find that balance, Stand up, big inhale, kick, exhale, bend the knee. The arms will make it easier, okay? Having the arms out for a kick always makes it easier. So the arms, when we're doing the arms, we have that great thrust palm with that right hand directly underneath. When we turn, okay, nothing's gonna change. It's just gonna stay this direction, okay? But you're not gonna be able to see if I do that, <laughs> okay? So what's gonna happen when we relax the right foot? We're gonna draw that left arm back and rotate the right one so that we can come into our kicking arms, okay? So when we have our kicking arms, the right one's on the outside because we're kicking with our right leg and it should be crossed at the forearms. From here, two little rainbows, and we open up. Nice. So remember here, not too open, not too far forward, kind of to the corner directions if your torso was to straight. Ready to put it all together? Let's do it. So arms, waist, gaze, legs, all of it together. So we start at our thrust palm. Make sure left arm and leg are in line to the straight direction. That torso is open. Right hand is directly under that left arm. First, we're gonna shift back. Arms don't change. Then we're gonna turn. Arms still don't change. Now check. Torso, left arm, left foot should all be to the corner direction. 
Now, as you relax on your right foot, bring the arms together and look to the straight direction. Stand up, find your balance, and then open the arms as you kick and bend the knee, pointing the toes back down and tucking that shin in. Release. All right, let's do it again. Repetition is key to burning it in, right? This is how we get more comfortable. Left arm out for our thrust palm into cross kick. Shift. Then turn everything together. It all goes to the corner. Relax the right foot. Bring the arms together. Stand up and look. Kick. Bend the knee. Let's go from single whip into high pad on horse, thrust palm, and then cross kick. Because adding on that one movement really does change everything, right? So, from here, shift back, high pad on horse. Open up that hook. Bring the hand to the shoulder, left palm to the sky. Change to the ball of the foot. Pull into that throat level strike. Thrust palm, step wider, press down and make sure left arm and leg in line as you extend out. Shift back, cross kick, turn, 135 degrees, everything goes to the corner first. Then we relax the right foot, bring the right arm on the outside. Stand up, look to the kicking direction. Heel kick, right hand in line with the right leg, left hand to the corner, bend the knee. Touch with the foot, check. Are you to the straight direction? Your left hand's to the corner, look at your left foot. How we do on the turn? So let's do it again from that single whip, high pad on horse, thrust palm, cross kick, okay? Find that relaxed feeling. High pad on horse, shift back change to the ball and strike thrust palm wider step and reaching out cross kick shift turn okay relax that right foot bring the arms together touch in the center if it feels good look stand up Heel kick or cross kick is what we call it. And then you can touch down again. Okay. So the next movement is actually going to be stepping on one line. And we're going to do punching to the groin. We are so close to the end of the form. It's amazing. Like we are right there. Thank you so much for being here. It is always a pleasure having you join me. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to know about all the new videos. You can also visit my website, ladytaichi.com, where you can subscribe to the newsletter to be the first to know about all the great new things coming soon. Remember, despite limited mobility and range of motion, we should all do our best to get moving in any way that we can. So videos might be a little bit shorter, things might look a little bit different, but we're all here doing our best every day to help heal our bodies. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey and I hope to see you again soon.